morning. It's uh, August 8th, and I'm heading up Mount Snitka. It's early in the morning. They've had a lot of snow here this winter. There's a little mini glacier here. And we're heading up that away. I made it to the fork probably. because it's, it's cold, the wind's blowing like crazy. I had to pull my hood up over my head, it was so windy. But from here I gotta go down and up that little knoll over there. Then you go down and then you start going up to the fall summit. And it's, it's quite a change. So I've got lots of time. I'm gonna do the uh, arc line at three o'clock. So um, I'd like to be at the top. 38, 39th, 10th, 11th. I'd like to make it up there by 11 or something, hopefully, or as far as I'm gonna make it. The local guys just sail up just like it's absolutely nothing. I've come that way. I'm having so much fun. This is what I'm heading up. This is the fall summit, heading up over that. It's tough balance here and not have the wind blow me. You can see the Eisenhower tunnel down there. Woo! The wind. Up here I can just uh, sit for just a minute with these rocks. I have a lot of places to sit down there so I'm gonna take a break. The wind is killing me though. It's cold. I hope it'll warm up more but it's not. Here's the trailhead way down there. So I've come all up that way which is real bitch. And I've come across here. Eisenhower Tunnel and the Rocky Mountains. Beautiful day though. So here I am standing at the fall summit, taking a look around. I have to ask myself, what the hell did God bring me up here for? I guess he's just the lanterns. There's the fall summit. I need to know, to almost fall down, that I have to go yet and I'm over there and I can see a guy is standing on the top there so he made it. That's my goal. Let's do it. Okay, I made it around the fall summit and I've come down off the trail a little bit because I just wanted to say that I'm standing on a small glacier that's overhanging here and I haven't stepped on snow since I was skiing last year and uh Got to be careful because this is really steep here. Don't want to go tumbling off the edge. So I got to go back up there and press on downward and upward to the summit. And I just talked to a guy and he said the place where I stopped last year, the Talus Field, he said stay to the left. It does disappear. The trail disappears. But he says if you stay to the left, you got to do a little hand climbing, you'll find the trail again. So. I got lots of time. It's only, hold on, it's only, it's not even 8.30, so I only started like two hours ago. So in two hours, I mean, it's a long time, but I've got a lot of time. So the weather's great. I'm just gonna take my time and keep going and pray I can get to the top. Okay, let's press on. This video won't do it justice, but down there is the Eisenhower Tunnel, I-70, uh, Loveland Pass. The trailhead was way over there. I've climbed up. We're way up here. That is the fall summit, the little mini glacier I was on. Over there is Grizzly Peak. And right here, I think this is where, as far as I got last time, because I got a talus field here, big rock boulders, and the trail just ends. The guy told me, it almost looks like the trail picks up over there. So, sure if I want to try climbing over the rocks here or go down and around. I might go down and around. Let's give it a go. If I can make this, I can make it to the top. This is tough, but I got a lot of time. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm heading up that way. And this is not the top. This is just a boulder field I got to get over. Just taking a sit-down break. There's a rock here and this is really taking its toll on me. I think 
I'm going to give up trying to do these high elevation mounds. I'm too old for this, but I just came up over that. All the rocks and boulders through this way. Check that out. That's a nice drop off there. I'm not sure what mound that is, but this is the top. So it's steep, it's rocky, and it's only probably not even 100 feet. Oh, yeah, it's me again. By the way, I just wanted to mention it's only five after nine, so I'm only two and a half hours into this trip, which is pretty good. I'm actually impressing myself. I was hoping I'd make it up here by 11, so I'll be up to the top here by 9.30, and shortly after I'll be on my way down, so I should be down by noon, maybe, somewhere around there. I'm gonna pedal fart around, take my time, um, and enjoy it. Actually, it's 9, 10 in the morning, and I'm on the summit of Mount Senegal, so I made it. So I don't have my camera. I, I'm just gonna have to use this to prove that I made it to the top of Mount Snickow. The wind's blowing the crap out of everything. 13,240 feet. However, if you come over the edge here, you can see I-70. Springs, which is where I'm going to be heading to when I get down because I'm going to tour the Argo mine. So, uh, from up here, you got a pretty great view. Oops, so, I'm just going to. Oh, God, I, it's losing my footing because of the wind. So, I'm just going to hang out up here for a little bit and take it all in. And I've got a little snacky poo, some water, and a little munchie. It just takes some time up here to enjoy top of the mountain. I'm check it out here a bit. Uh oh, there's a marmot. Can you see it? There are these little rodent things that hang out up here. Hey buddy. Marmot, got some food here. You want it? Didn't think so. Peak, but I'm not going to stand on that. There he goes. Hey, buddy. You just sit down there. <laughs> and I was thinking I was up here alone, and all of a sudden more people show up. Isn't that something? It's great. Smile. <laughs> I thought I was up here by myself. I kept looking around and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you guys appear. We are. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect day up here. Check out that sky. Just came around that rock pile there. Down the trail here. Got the wind. Oh my god, lose your balance. People above with dogs, people below with dogs. We're on the home stretch, kind of. It's still pretty rough. People coming up, people running down. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. Just taking a break coming down. Two older guys going up. Three younger guys who I think just got up to the fork. They definitely made it, did not make it to the top. I'm just taking a break. I keep saying this is the last leg of the trip, but even the last leg is a real bitch. <sighs> Gonna get some fresh water and take five. Just a recap I'm coming down the home stretch. Up there's the fork, over there's Grizzly, and to the left is Mount Seneco. So that's where I've been. So like I made it, I finally made it down. Mount Snickau, 13, two, four, yeah. And I've, it's just noon, so I did the whole thing in about six hours, which is really crappy, but for me it's good. As you can see, the place is fairly busy. This is coming down Loveland Pass. It's absolutely beautiful back here.
before a loved one passed. The scenery is stunning through here, just unbelievable.